What is up, everyone? This is Zorkin0909, and this is going to be Operation Bedrock number 173, the 173rd episode of the Operation Bedrock series. My friends and I will get to mine the entire world, and there's nothing but bedrock left except for the floor, of course, because we need something flat to walk on. And we have a lot of torches. So many torches, I cannot even count them. I honestly can't. I have no idea how many torches there are in this layer alone, but we are still working on the other quadrant. The very last quadrant, the last three layers, once that's done, then we will be heading up to the surface. It's going to be a nice change of view. And once we actually get started with the project, then it's going to look a little bit kind of cool. I don't know what else to say. I have no idea what else to call it. I cannot call it amazing because then that just sounds over the top. I really can't say beautiful. I can't say great. I just gonna have to say it's cool i guess i have no idea i really need to expand on my vocabulary otherwise then i don't just i'm just gonna run out of words to say really that would suck because i gotta do a lot of talking for at least a good 15 minutes because i am alone today because it is late at night i try to actually get some recording done but the fact of the matter is is that the hapog just didn't want to work with me again it's quite annoying when that actually happens i have no idea what causes it there's some episodes where it's just like it's not gonna do anything it's been great i went through like eight hours of recording nothing happens and then the next day up oh, it just decided not to work for me just I try resetting the computer, I try unplugging out the like power cord, plugging it back in, move all the extra cables as well, just nothing would work. And then all of a sudden, like probably five or six hours later, then it decides to work. That's exactly what actually happened during when I went to work, actually. Just, I wanted to get two recordings done before I actually had to go to work, but it just wouldn't work with me. It just didn't want to turn on. Then when I come back home from work, and then when I try to turn on the Apog again, it decided to actually turn on. I'm like, what is the deal with this software? What is the deal with the product in its own? Like, it's great. Honestly, it is great. But when there's some episodes like this, it's just really, really frustrating when you try to actually get some work done, but you just can't do it. But at least it's working now, so I'm very happy that it is working. So this is the video that you're seeing right now. Obviously, it's working again. But just the uh, episodes like that just really, really is frustrating from time to time. But if I do decide to actually go for an upgrade, then I will actually probably buy myself the Elgato, the 360, or not the, what am I talking about? Ah, the HD60 Pro just the one that actually attaches to your computer so if i were to do some live streaming it's gonna be on that little chip as well so it's gonna be more direct it's gonna be faster and as well as that there's gonna be little to no delay in the actual console just the console live stream its own or a recording for that even so it's gonna be great if i were to do for that upgrade if you guys actually already have it let me know how well it does it actually work i really want to know for myself so i can actually make the right decision of buying it because i know that there is already the elgato like 60 frames per second that little product right there i think it's hd 60 pro and then there's the one for the actual computer and then you have the regular hapog capture card or not the hapog the elgato capture card which there's no point in actually buying it if you're gonna go ahead and go get the like the 60 frames per second product but i just want to know from you guys if you have already gotten the product or if you actually heard people actually buying the product and the product just works amazingly just let me know in the comment section below for now i'm still gonna continue on with the hapog but if there's more and more complications in the new future or if it actually breaks down on me like where I can't use it anymore then I will go ahead and actually upgrade from there just really hope that my computer could handle it because I really don't know or don't understand how well my computer actually runs things because I, I know that when I actually did a recording on the on the PC version I was running Pixamon which is already resource intensive as its own and we actually had a purge moment and I spawned in like 10,000 TNT blocks and I detonated it all I actually recorded with DX Tori, which if you actually use DX Tori, is another resource intensive type of software while you are actually recording your videos. So that was running. It was recording the videos at 60 frames and as well as that I detonated t like 10,000 TNT blocks and I didn't get kicked out of the server. I did not lag out. I didn't lose connection. Things were kind of laggy here and there, but I did not lose connection whatsoever. So when I actually said that I didn't lose connection, they were like, my God, you probably have a good PC. 
but there's a lot of things I still need to know. I am really, really dumb when it comes to PC, honestly, with the old type of the <laughs> let's just let's just say I would not know how to build a PC to save my life. That's how bad I am. I don't know a lot of the things here and there. And for me to try to explain it, I can't even explain whatsoever. I just don't have the patience to actually build a PC. So that's why I actually go ahead and do a pre-built PC. And if anything else, if I were to actually go to a website that pretty much makes the PC for you, then I'll just go for the best of the best as I could possibly can. But if someone wants to like, well, I have friends who actually build PCs, so I'm gonna have to ask them to help me out in building a PC. So if they know what they're talking about and they know what to look for, then I will pay them to actually build a PC for me. Well, I'll pay for the PC and then I'll pay them to build it. So at least I can have some money on the side. And who knows, maybe they'll actually get something out of it if I were to give them my old computer. Who knows? Just all I could tell you is that, or maybe I could actually use my older PC as a payment. That could actually work. <laughs> but in any case, that I just don't know how to build a PC to save my life. I know a lot of people say I'm just be just ripping myself off if I were to buy a pre-built PC that doesn't have great specs and all, but like I said, I just don't have the patience for it. It's not for everyone. But now that final week is finally over, now I'll be able to actually have a little bit more time just going ahead and do as much work I could possibly get done. Maybe make some let's plays, maybe make some videos here and there, maybe use my camera finally so that I could actually go ahead and do something with it. I'm still thinking of whether or not to actually do Amazon reviews. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below because I do make some reviews on Amazon of the things I actually bought. So from my experience, and from my knowledge of the product, that's where I put my review into play so that if people are wondering whether or not to actually buy the product as well, if they look at my review, then I could possibly help them out making a final decision, decision, decision. I cannot even talk right. Good thing I could actually type up a decent review. But if I were to speak up the review, it's just going to be a big old mess. But that's just more practice for me to do regardless. But yeah, I do actually make Amazon reviews here and there of the things I have bought. There's a lot of things I still need to review. But for now, I have a good 15 reviews as of this video. So if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below to take you to my Amazon profile. And you'll be able to see my Amazon profile with all the 15 reviews if you were to go click on the review hyperlink. So if there are things you probably would be interested in, then there's a review of that and who knows maybe you'll find something that you probably have not found before or that just for the heck of it you could just read some of the reviews i've done in any case like i said just as long as i'm able to actually help out one person i'm truly truly happy that i was able to do that because there's a lot of products out there and there's a lot of well some reviews don't even help out at all some people just say this is great okay what else is there nothing there's nothing else that's on review itself when i do a review i try to go for all the little aspects of pros and cons well i started recently doing that first of all i didn't really do that but now i'm starting kind of actually doing that for some of the products but you know what i mean just i want to actually explain as best as i can about the product so that people will get to know more about it like the recent one i've bought was the five nights at freddy's foxy plushie yes i have bought it i did say it a long time ago that i would actually buy one if there was a plushie of it and well, what do you know? It was no it was no surprise that it actually exists. So I bought it off of Amazon. But there are two different ones. There is one that is the quote unquote officially licensed, and there's one that isn't officially licensed. And then of course you got the one from Sanshi, where it's pretty much that website dedicated for collectibles of actual products or of the things that you would find as a collectible of the or of the series or relating to the series that is another thing that is up to debate because when i looked at sanshi with the the little picture that they have on there comparing to the amazon product counterpart it just didn't look at all different you will see in the review that i wrote for that product that it didn't really look any at all different some reviewers actually say that this is different from sanshi so i will not know unless i were to buy it from sanshi but seeing how it kind of looks exactly like it i really don't think i should actually just 
put my money into buying the same product. If anything else, if I want to make a true comparison, I could actually buy the officially licensed counterpart and see if there's actual differences between the two. But from looking at the picture, it just doesn't really seem all that different. But just never know if people actually want to see the full comparison of the officially licensed versus the one that I have bought, then I will not actually mind buying it and just making a difference or a different video or a difference video. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just comparing the two on video to see which one is better than the other. If they're pretty much the same, then people will know that it's pretty much the same. But the other the other version is just cheaper. But things like that, I could actually help out and things like that, I could actually be happy that I help people out in buying a product. So far, as of my knowledge, that the Foxy Plush review that I made actually has five votes. But here's the thing. The other reviewers that they put up, like whatever they put up there, they didn't really go in depth in an explanation of how well, how the product is made, how it looks, and things like that. So, this is where I do things differently. If I were to take photos of the actual product to show people what it looks like and things like that, it could actually give the review more credibility. I want to do more things like that. So, that is where I'm coming from with if I were to make some Amazon review videos. If people actually get to see it physically in real time, then it could actually help them make a better decision of whether or not to buy the product like when i made the video of the backlit keyboard that was more of an actual type of review and an actual look at it because if i were to write it up in text it's not going to compare then to actually see it happen in real time so things like that so if I were to make some Amazon review videos, then that could be a thing that I could actually do as a hobby on the sideline. So if I make video game videos or the commentaries, then I'll have the Amazon reviews as well, then possibly do some vlogs. Just, I really gotta make some use out of the camera that I bought, otherwise it's just gonna be a $300 brick. <laughs> just simple as that. If I'm not using it, then I just use that money for nothing. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below whether or not if I should actually make Amazon review videos. Would you watch them? Would you just skip over them? Just let me know. If it, well, maybe you probably are curious and if it didn't work out, then, well, at least I tried. And I could still do that as a sideline while I'm still working on Operation Bedrock, Operation Dome, or any other different series that I have on my table. But again, the link to my profile will be in the description below. I was about to say LinkedIn, but it's like, it's already redundancy at this point. I gotta really, really work on my redundancy type of problem. There's a lot of things I say over and over and over again, especially like when I know that this is gonna be one of those fillers. I think I do also say like actually a lot. I do say actually a lot. I've noticed this. The thing is, is that if I were to stop saying one thing, I'll start saying another thing. It's just an endless cycle. So at least it's not as bad as some of the other words that I used to say as filler. But thing is, some of them I actually forgot. <laughs> so if I go back to the older ones, then it's just an endless cycle. I cannot do anything to stop it. So if people get annoyed by one of the phrases, quote unquote, that I say. And then when I go to a new one, the old one gets forgotten. And then later on in time, I come back to the old one. How do commentators do this? Seriously. I'm pretty sure that they have their own catchphrase or something so that whenever they want to say it, they can actually say it and then in context people would understand it and then it would actually work because then they don't have to worry about saying other catchphrases. Just as long as people remember them by this catchphrase, then that's how it actually works for them. Whoa, just a lot of things to think about. When you're alone, you just think of different type of content or topics you could actually possibly think of on the spot. I'm alone here, guys. I'm alone here talking to myself. <gasps> oh, sad, sad day. But as long as I'm getting work done, as long as I'm making videos, I'm just happy that I have the opportunity to do so. Because without you guys, I would not even be making videos to begin with. If there's no audience, then there's no point in making a video. Anyone who makes a video wants an audience to see it. I know there's going to be a lot of people saying that that's not the case, but if that wasn't the case, then you wouldn't be making videos at all. And if you were to make videos, then you wouldn't post it up on the public website. If anything else, that you would just make videos, put it on your computer, and then you just leave it on your computer. Only you can see it, and anyone who actually goes across your computer could actually see it as well. 
So, yeah, everybody wants an audience. But I can tell you this, I cannot wait till Operation Dome is finally completed so that we can actually focus on Operation Bedrock for a full month straight. So with all my friends, we will be able to be online. I can give them all diamond pickaxes and water buckets so they don't get themselves killed by lava. And then they could just do a lot of mining. So much mining. I could go AFK if I need to. And all they got to do is just mine the blocks. Put the items in the chest. Make it organized. Be clean about it. And then just continue on mining. That would be a thing. That is a thing that we could actually work on, and that's the thing that I cannot wait to see it actually flourish and actually go on with the whole momentum. So that once we get that momentum started, I just don't want that to end. But I'm just going to have to wait. I'm going to have to be patient. Got to do Operation Dome first. Got to get that out of the way so that we can finally be done with a series that we've worked on for a very, very long time. Finish what we have started. Finish at least one thing we have started. And then spend a whole entire month focusing on Operation Bedrock. And there's going to be more successful and updated episodes that it's just going to make it all worthwhile. But... There's something else I can say, so in a recap, if I could even remember, just mainly I just talked about me making Amazon reviews, and I really want to start making Amazon reviews, so if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to check out the reviews I've already written out so far, probably they're going to be the first ones I'm going to actually make a video about, except for the can of Pringles. I really don't need to make a review video of that. That was because I got it for free from the Amazon pantry. I got a lot of credit stored up, and I just decided to buy some snacks for myself. And I just made a review just cause. Some reviews are probably not going to take so serious, but all the other reviews like the Foxy Plushy review, I've taken it seriously. And who knows, if more and more people want to see a comparison, then maybe I'll actually buy the official licensed product and let's see which one is better. If not, or if they're just either the same or one's not better than the other, then people will know because there is a price difference. People think that if it's cheaper, then it might be a knockoff and not be as good. But who knows? Just, just because it's called officially licensed doesn't mean it's actually any better. But in any case, that's another thing to talk about for another day. Maybe I'll actually get my hands on the actual official licensed product. And then we're going to see which one is better or if they're just the same regardless. But yeah, I just don't remember anything else I have talked about. If anything else is that, if I were to go get a brand new capture card, it's going to be the Elgato, this like HD60 Pro, the one that you put onto your computer. It's an actual type of PCI type of like thing you put into the computer and it's directly right there. No lag, no problems. It's just literally in your computer. So yeah, nothing else, nothing else. Okay, so... One thing is, I know, I really need to shut up, but one thing I'm actually kind of happy about is that, well, Star right now is scratching her neck, if you could hear her, but yeah, apparently on Amazon, you could actually follow people on Amazon, but that is if you actually bought things on Amazon. If you're an actual legit customer on Amazon, then that's where you get to use that feature. You could have just, you could have just, ah, couldn't you just sit still for the last, like, minute? She just wants me to get on with this so that she could actually go outside. But in any case, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. So in any case, that is all for now. I want to thank all my friends like Flex Medusa and as well as RCT Hipster and Here as a Moment, Mr. Inflammable Phantom. And that's all I can remember so far that have helped me out with Operation Dome and slightly on Operation Bedrock for this week. But until then, have a great day, everyone. I'm StarkingZ90, and as always, oh yeah, Sun Devilman 7 Cannot forget about him. Okay, have a great day, everyone. And as always, I will see you in the next video.